subtraction bars as symbols of inclusion. So the only thing we're adding is this fraction bar that looks like this. This actually means you have to do the entire top first, the entire bottom second, and the last thing you do is divide. But actually, you could do the top and the bottom at the same time, but you last divide, okay? So that fraction bar means that in the end, divide it. So let's start in the numerator here. <coughs> and Evie, what would be first in the numerator? Yeah, you would do 3 minus 7. So Isaac, what is 3 minus 7? It is negative 4. So let's rewrite it. We have 4. Now be careful. We have a minus here and a negative 4 in parentheses. What does that do? Yeah, we can put plus. All right. And I'm just rewriting the rest of the problem. We can go ahead and do the parentheses in the denominator as well. So Coleman, what do I get for negative 4 minus 1? Good. So I have a 2 on the outside, and then we get a negative 5 for the parentheses. Hey, Peyton, what do you think we're going to do next? Um, yep. We can multiply these, and we can multiply these. All right? So in the top, we have 4 plus 4 plus what? 6. And then plus 6. And all over, 2 times negative 5, so that's negative 10. Again, we cannot divide until the very end, so we're still working on the top and adding everything in the top. So Mark, what does all that in the top add to? 20. Yeah, we get 20, and then the very last thing we do is divide. 20 divided by negative 10, Zach, what's that? Good. Okay. Let's try one more. Go ahead and write this one down. Haley, what should we do first? Yeah, we can go ahead and do every set of parentheses at the same time here. So, Will, what do I get for negative 4 plus 3? Okay, so we have 6 and then negative 1. Don't lose this negative right here. And then we have another set of parentheses. So, Harper, what do I get for negative 2 minus 6? Good, and keep your parentheses there. And in the denominator, we can go ahead and do that set of parentheses. So, Aaron, what do I get for 2 minus 4? Good. All right. So, Holly, what do I do next? Yeah, we can go ahead and do all the multiplication on this set. We can do this times this, this times this, this times this. Okay. So, Jaden, what's 6 times negative 1? Good. And then we have this negative sign that's still here. And then Jessica, what's negative 8 times 2? Good. And then in the denominator, Abby, what's 3 times negative 2? Good. Okay. Now we have to treat it as parentheses, right? So before we do any division, we have to add what's in the top. So, Devin, how do we change these two symbols here? Good. Chop, chop. Negative 6. Plus 16. So, Kieran, what's negative 6 plus 16? Good. So now I have 10 over negative 6. We can't really divide, we just reduce. So if it doesn't go in nicely, we leave it as a fraction. This reduces to 5 over 3. The one negative sign, you guys, can go anywhere on the fraction. I usually just move mine to the top. As long as you have a negative fraction, so there's one negative sign, that makes it a negative fraction, okay? 